these are the power supplies 518 volt, 502 volts and here is the rig got it in CW right now test the modulator later this is the oscillator tube, this is the PA tube that is the microphone preamp tube that's not doing anything right now and the other two are off they only come on when you switch to voice but we're not going to do that now I have it at 3885 you can't see it here but that's what we set it for it is tuned and this is our watt meter and we're dumping everything in the dummy load which is quite warm from earlier tests test key there we see our current and here we see the power it is about 80 watts transmitter is specified for about 60 to 70 watt carrier so these shiny tubes are doing an excellent job I, earlier I swapped them with other Chinese tubes and they behave exactly the same you know when they sell them as audio tubes that's all BS because they all sound the same there but when you test them for RF that's a whole different ball game because then the inter-electrode capacitances need to be the same in order for the neutralizing to uh, to work so these Chinese did a very good job making tubes that behave exactly the same as the originals did and like I said when you use them for RF that's when you really find that out because on audio it's all BS no one will hear the difference there great job as you can see I'm in the process of fixing this up I already refinished all this I still got to do the side panels and the top cover this is kind of interesting there's almost no antenna current so you would think how's that possible but that's because I've matched it to 50 ohms if you calculate 100 watts in 50 ohms that's almost nothing it's about an amp or so maybe even less so that's what the meter shows and that's correct so people will ask why the hell is this meter going all the way to 8 amps that's when you match a lower, lower impedance antennas let's say an antenna with only 10 ohm impedance that's a different ball game because then the current will be much higher but when you match this unit into 50 ohms you're not going to see much current and we rely on our bird watt meter the BC375 very robust very reliable transceiver and it works great with Chinese tubes so those don't spend 1200 bucks on four General Electric tubes spend 50 bucks on four Chinese tubes and they work just as good <laughs> 